In this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of the most important things you need to do when you first get Adobe Creative Cloud. Turn off auto update. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. Okay, so you just got your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and you are psyched. Yeah! Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, and one of my favorites, Media Encoder, all at your disposal now. Ready to be used to create amazing graphics and polish videos like the pros. Which is cool and all, but unless you change this one setting, one day you're going to fire up that Premiere project and it's going to prompt you to save a copy of your existing project and convert it to a more recent version which is generally okay, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes things get a little wonky when you upgrade your software right in the middle of a project, which is why back in the day when I was editing for television, editors never, and I mean never, voluntarily updated their versions of Avid, Final Cut Pro, and later Premiere in the middle of a project. If you do this, you're usually just asking for a headache, or in the very least, a speed bump. So, I like to make sure my auto updates are turned off, and you should too. Just update that software after the project is over, okay? So, here is how you turn off auto update in Adobe Creative Cloud. First, launch the Adobe Creative Cloud app. That's where you manage all software updates for Adobe products. If you can't find the Adobe Creative Cloud app on a Mac, click on Finder, Applications, and the Adobe Creative Cloud app is in the A's. By the way, I'm using version 5.7.1.1, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. Since Adobe likes to try to force us to upgrade to the latest version of their software as soon as it's available, you might be prompted to update your version of Creative Cloud before you use it. There is no way around this, so hit OK and go get a cup of coffee if this is the case. Okay, so once you're in Creative Cloud, click on your icon in the upper right. I never change the default picture for mine, so it's this pie looking thing here. Scroll to Preferences, click on Apps, then make sure the toggle by Auto Update is not selected. It should be gray. Hit Done, Quit, and you're good to go. Oh, and ignore this, are you sure you want to quit? You can just hide Creative Cloud nonsense. There is no reason to run the Creative Cloud app in the background and give your computer more to manage. Seriously, Adobe, you've had this roadblock here forever, and I can literally see the eye rolls you get every time you force us to take this extra step just to quit your ish. But I still love you. All right, let's do the tip. New to Adobe Creative Cloud apps? Did you know that you've got a whole arsenal of free beginner tutorials to get you up and running? Right there in the Creative Cloud app. You do, and here is how you find them. Open the Adobe Creative Cloud app like we did earlier. Then on the left, scroll down to the bottom and you'll find a link to tutorials. Click on it. And at the top, you've got an option to choose beginner or experienced. Experienced is kind of lame. It's mostly just trying to get you to use other Adobe products. But the beginner section has some good stuff in it, like this Photoshop one. The Photoshop one provides a link to some sample files to practice with and short three minute clips that gently take you step by step through the program. Cool, huh? So the next time you're looking for a better use of your time than TikTok, check out some of the free Adobe tutorials. Nothing against learning my money don't jiggle jiggle, but you know, if you're gonna get better at filmmaking or photo, you gotta keep your eyes on the prize. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.